Hey everyone, how you doing today? I thought I'd show you another update on the Star Trek ship, and I've been uh, making lots of modifications. Uh, admittedly, I've been getting really tripped up with these nacelles. This is my newest rendition on the nacelles. I won't say they're exactly quite right yet, but they're getting dialed in better than what they were. Um, this is kind of the, uh, the current look of them. Uh, not a lot of detail going on yet with them. Uh, mostly... Uh, Mostly full blocks or uh, some a lot of uh, reforged Eden structural frame blocks on some parts of them. Um, but I'm trying to go for a little bit different nacelle design here and uh, definitely uh, different than what they were. I'll show you where I started from and that was this over here. This is an older version. I actually, I showed a newer version of this on the last video uh, that had more of the back end and stuff done. But this... But the nacelles are still intact on where they did start out at. And I did say I wanted to redo those. And again, here's the, uh, the, the new design of the nacelles. I'm, they're a little, they, they are longer than what they were before. Um, uh, they're rounded off kind of on the front and back a little bit. Uh, probably, I'll probably do a little bit more with that. I'm not sure. I've got a little bit of this uh, thruster visible here yet. And I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that or not. I'm trying to use some of these newer blocks here to make a little roundy pattern. But there's, uh, I don't know, I'm kind of uh, a little mixed on uh, the, the current setup on them. And I kind of, I may uh, redo a lot of this. I also rebuilt the arms going to the uh, nacelles. Uh, they're kind of a lot different. I was trying to get some angular, angular things. I was looking at some... Some of the more modern nacelles from Star Trek ships, uh, actually looking at pictures and stuff. And there's some aesthetics I really wanted to pull off, but I just could not find uh, the right way to do it. There's like this uh, set of like these inverted like wedge blocks that I've seen in some other games um, that this game doesn't really have. And, I, and they're really weird looking and it would be kind of needed to do some of the shaping I really wanted to uh, try to pull off here. But I'm... I'm all right with it right now. Now, another thing that, that took place is I did extend this area back. It was in uh, on the last video. There were some comments saying that maybe this, uh, this whole chunk here should be a little bit bigger, and it is now. So that got moved back probably by about five blocks. So it's about five blocks longer. The nacelles, as you can tell, versus the, uh, the old version 2 are quite a bit longer than what they used to be. Um, but I was trying to make them kind of bolt, uh, a little bit more bulged up in this general area. Let me get the HUD on. In this uh, general area and then kind of slim them off going backwards. Um, now there's a lot of thrusters in here. And actually when I redid these nacelles, I doubled the uh, reverse thrust on the, on the ship as well. So it's now matched with a, force, a forward thrust. So it's basically got two... Um, uh, Excel thrusters uh, per side going backwards as well now, as well as forward. Uh, three strafing, uh, two lift per side. Uh, the side effect here is obviously you can see what, what's going on here. I've got some buried lift thrusters in there. And then you can see the exhaust uh, travel through the body on this. And that is just something, there's nothing really I can do about that uh, except for to expose those thrusters again. Now, other areas that I've been working on is the uh, I started uh, doing some revisions here on the saucer top side. Uh, I did add in um, a total of eight artillery launchers here. I've got a, a bank over here and then a bank below that over here. And then we also, I did move the uh, uh, launchers that I had in the center portion of the ship. And they're, they're now out in the outer parts of the saucer over here. So it's got the same count. And essentially, right now, this has 10 laser cannons and 8 artillery launchers on the ship. Now, I did uh, pop in a whole lot more turrets as well. Um, you can kind of see all these retractable turrets going across the top side of the saucer. And then I got uh, a layer going around the bottom of the saucer. Um, let's see. Uh, what else? Uh, now, areas that I've got issues with and I'm still working on. And there's a number of them. I don't. I still don't really like what I got going on with the backside of the saucer here. Um, this part, I kind of, I redid this a little bit. I uh, kind of made it so it kind of bulged up, and it doesn't really have as much space there. I did say I was going to do that on the last video. It still has a pretty good size landing pad back here, but I did trim some of that away up here to uh, form this. Um, also, I wanted a, a nice way into the ship. 
that could come into the saucer section. So we've got this door over here that'll kind of lead you inside the ship. Um, there's another one of these doors that's coming out right by where the uh, long range radar is. And I did redo the block work on the top side of the saucer in this area. Another revision, but I'm not quite settled yet. Um, this isn't exactly how it's going to be when it's done, but it's a little bit closer. I got rid of some of the, the jarring features that I was really not liking. Um, again, you could probably tell on the older saucer I had this, um, this set of block work going up over here that I wasn't really on board with um, and things like that. And I had a, a little bit bigger indent into this area as well, and I kind of uh, backed off from that a little bit. Um, so, yeah, just a number of just tweaks, changes, and uh, most uh, a good amount of the time, though, was really trying to figure out these nacelles, and I was struggling with it. It's kind of like, um, to me, um, building the uh, the feet on the Manticore <laughs> way back in the day, which was uh, a nightmare for me to, uh, to build those at that time. And these nacelles uh, were just tripping me up. I, there's a lot of aspects of it, like their length, their, their, uh, the shape on the front, the fact that there is a bazillion of gigantic thrusters inside of here. And there's going to be some more room inside of parts of this area as well. Like you can see here, I, I did kind of have to waste a lot of space in here um, due to their new uh, design um, and things like that. And I'm still uh, going to be having xenoblock separations inside of these areas between each nacelle or i'm sorry each thruster to uh avoid chain reaction if one of them gets uh, uh blown up uh, when you're flying around or something like that um other than that i just wanted to give you a good look on what the ship is currently uh looking like here let me adjust the lighting i'll also get the turrets out a second uh so you can kind of take a look at those um, lighting is always a pain in the butt, uh, trying to show this thing at different angles and stuff like that. Uh, let me try more of a side view profile right now. Now this part here, it's kind of bugging me. I did, uh, kind of, uh, essentially copied and pasted the, uh, launchers from the top side and, um, put them down over here temporarily to see if I would like them. And I don't know if I like that or not on this ship. Maybe maybe I should rework how that's being done, too. I did want to get eight artillery launchers on here, um, but I don't know if I like this location. A problem with that location, too, is I'm looking at the front profile, and I had it where I thought the nacelles looked like they are in a better position, according to the, uh, the saucer. They are dropped down a little bit. The nacelle arms changed their angle and went out a little bit farther as well. Um, but then I put those in there and then it kind of puts this blocky thing in there. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm, I'm really on board with that or not. I did want, of, of course, the eight launchers though, but, uh, maybe I'll find another home for the, uh, the ones on the bottom. I'm still not even finalized if I want to keep this, uh, formation on the top side. And I think I was, uh, when I was talking about, uh, turrets on the Proxima, I think I drastically misquoted the, uh, the turret count on this, um, ship. Uh, I said I said it had somewhere I thought in the 40s or like 42 or something like that. I think it has far less than that. Um, I actually only counted around 30 turrets on the uh, on the old Proxima. But anyway, um, what I did want to do is let's get the, the turrets out on this one. You can kind of see going around the saucer. It, it, for turrets that I would uh, consider combat worthy, and what I mean by that is the your forward facing good line of sight turrets um other ones could be used for defense shooting drones behind you and all that stuff but the ones on here that i thought were you know all kind of geared to attack an enemy which would be basically this this front row going along here so that's how many it had on the on the top side and then i had quite a few on the bottom side um on the uh on the proxima um on same thing on this ship the ship just, again, it does have quite a bit more, but it's not to its count that I was uh, looking to get it to yet. Let me get these up here in a minute. And so we've got this row on the top side here. Uh, considerably more, obviously, though, than the uh, the Proxima. Um, probably, probably a good double, at least. And then uh, quite a row on the bottom side as well. Now... I, I don't like to just put turrets behind other turrets, so that's why I don't have anything going on in this big uh, wide open space over here. And I'm 
pretty I don't have much going on here either I didn't want to disrupt the uh, the little roundy formation down there with uh, turrets and things like that um, but I'm thinking that would be kind of a nice setup here for attacking ships if all these were dedicated on doing hull damage or whatnot on enemy ships um, you know maybe a mix of positron a lot of rockets plasma whatever newer type weapons it's got a quite a few and every single one of these does have a good line of sight that's placed on here right now for your forward view and a lot of these will be able to shoot pretty good from the sides as well um, and that was something else I was thinking about when I was placing them so uh, yeah it'll probably get more and I haven't tried to put any turrets in for general protection in the back part of the ship or the bottom side of the ship or any of that yet um, and that'll that'll be coming and uh, but currently since I've got all the uh, turrets as placeholders as just your standard minigun ones you kind of see on here I've got currently 44 of these turrets which would be uh, again all the ones that are placed here are pretty much dedicated to attacking the enemy ship uh, in uh, on the front side of, of this ship and uh, maybe it'll get another uh, eight turrets or so on the ship uh, for general defense shooting drones behind you around you that kind of thing but uh, uh, with uh, 10 uh, laser cannons and uh, eight artillery uh, cannons in the, in the mix here um, that'll be pretty nice plus the, the combination of all these uh, turrets or 44 at least currently um, again there's there's some things I could do to probably increase that turret count but um, that's uh, kind of kind of where it's sitting at. I just wanted to give you a good look at the ship. And uh, again, let me know on recommendations. Now, one other recommendation or comment that was brought up on the last video is that this neck area is just kind of a little big and bulky. And I was looking at it, and see, I'm undecided on that. In some cases, I kind of agree, maybe it is, but uh, in other cases, it's like, well, how else would you know how it joins up to the body at this height? I don't really know what else I could do with that to thin it up. Um, you know, maybe I, I, dr I drive this body line in further and try to retract this part back a little bit more, but I don't necessarily think that's going to be the hot ticket either. Not not with this design. The other option would be to, to literally raise the saucer up another block row and kind of try to thin it up a little bit on the back area of the saucer again i don't like the back side of the saucer very much right now and that is just something that i think i i need to invest more time and effort into uh getting working right and i have not done any little fringe detail things uh very very little uh, cutting into the block work or trying to make neat looking formations or whatever going on on the uh the saucer top yet i was really just trying to get the big body lines is situated better and i think it's better than what it was but i i think it's still uh, there's some room for improvement uh there yet so i'll keep on trying to mess with that same thing kind of goes with the uh, nacelles i sort of like the design a lot better than what well a whole lot better than what these were but i still kind of want to mess with them a little bit uh the idea of trying to paint some of this in with glowies um, this formation here probably isn't going to work very good for that. So again, I might have to change this around. But ultimately speaking, I was trying to get kind of a roundy front going on. And this is a weird block formation back over here. And you can kind of see one of the forward thrusters there too. Um, and then something kind of unique over here as well. And then also looking at the bottom side of the ship, I was trying to look at how these nacelle arms came out, what angle they're doing and uh, try to bulk that area up a little bit but get in some unusual shapes and and part of my problem in, in that weird block I was uh, mentioning before is kind of this inverted thing it would be kind of necessary if I wanted to go from like this angle and then follow that up um, and join this properly over there right now it's kind of divided in the middle because there's two different sets of wedges at different angles going on there um, that aren't going to line up together ever but uh, I don't know. For the most part, I'm definitely uh, definitely happier with it than I was on the last video. Um, and I know this has been kind of slow going. Uh, to be honest, I really spent a lot of time with the nacelles. And my first, you know, I, I this is actually like uh, the second or third redesign of the nacelles. And um, every time I'm liking them a little bit better. 
and trying to fix problems that I had on the last one. But I didn't even bother doing a video on the other uh, nacelles that I did there because I made uh, it just, I, yeah. Once I got them sort of halfway there, I was like, I don't like this. And then I was um, kind of a little frustrated with it. Now, something else I do have to get on this ship yet is landing gear. I don't think that's going to be horribly bad. It, it generally has a fairly flat bottom side to it here. Um, and again, on overall interior space, uh, just a huge amount of room in the ship here. It's not quite as much necessarily as it had before in the saucer because I did actually lower the, uh, the total height of the saucer down a little bit. But um, this back area got extended out a little bit more. Um, this ship should have the capabilities of having a really a pretty good size hangar and plenty of room for all the parts I want to put in it. Plus uh, all, um, some of the fluffy stuff I wanted to put in here too. You know, um, hollow deck kind of thing. Um, probably some crew rooms and all that fun stuff. It, it definitely has a lot of room in here. And then it'll also try to, uh, oh man, did I forget the name again? I did. But it's going to try to accommodate for those uh, new parts coming in Reforged Eden 2 that would sort of act like a solar panel but not be a solar panel um, for, from what I'm getting the impression of. Uh, basically create some, uh, some power to keep your systems and stuff uh, online um, but not enough really to uh, you know, use as your main power generation on the ship to push the ship around or anything like that. Um, just keep uh, systems rolling inside, I think, which would be a great thing. But um, overall, it is uh, it is definitely coming along. Kind of slow progress over the last few days. Again, I really got tripped up with these nacelles and probably lost a good four or five hours of build time messing with previous versions of them and trying to figure out what the heck I was going to do and banging my head against the wall a little bit. Um, but I think at this point, I'm um, in a whole lot better shape with the uh, nacelles. Let me know what you think. Um, if I got the, uh, the, the overall size and dimensions better, better dialed in this time again every every place on the ship especially when i start to texture it and stuff i'll be doing some additional block work and some additional detailing and things like that same same process took place on the proxima um which had a lot of that stuff going on on the uh uh on the top of the saucer and i really care about the top of the saucer on these ships too um, the bottom side is going to be generally pretty basic sort of like the proxima I didn't want to chop it up too much with uh, block and block chunks and weird formations and stuff because it's supposed to be pretty smooth. Um, and also, I do like the fact that I got these launchers out of the, the front middle of the saucer and put them off to the sides. I already had some problems over here with the not being able to match the, uh, the block work on the top of the saucer versus on the sides. There's like a missing block in Reforged Eden that would have to be a three by two wedge um, that uh, is a straight flat wedge um, and that block does not exist so it had to be a little wavy over here anyway so I took advantage of that and put the launchers there so it kind of looks like maybe it's a thing and maybe I can tweak out the, the blocks here a little bit and make these uh, uh, this area look a little bit better as well but um, yeah anyway I just want to show you where I'm at. Let me know what you think, and I'll uh, keep on working on it. I'll probably be starting texturing here pretty soon on this thing and trying to figure out, you know, once I get going with that and start texturing it, it'll probably become addictive. Um, right now, I've just been scared of the ship because I, I like it, but I don't want to mess it up. Um, uh, oh, something else I forgot to mention, too. I have still have not fixed these this area here I want to uh, really work out I, I like the idea of where the launchers are over here um, this is kind of a neat neat spot for it but I gotta do something this uh, missing block over here is really bugging me and some of the some of the stuff going on here needs to change as well um, yeah all right well anyway I will shut up for now and uh, you guys have yourself a great day I'll talk to you later